All right, gentlemen, take your seats. Let's get this over before lunch. Clyde Rose of the Homicide Squad has decided to take early retirement. We will all miss Floyd and the steely edge he brought to his police work. The department has arranged a wee drink at the Galway Arms to quench the mighty thirst a man gets from 25 years of police work. Floyd's departure leaves a place at the top table and the chief has seen fit to promote Cole Phelps from burglary to the homicide desk. Stand up, Phelps. Take a chair. You're in the major leagues now, Sonny. Rusty Galloway, a fine lawman of the old school, will be taking you under his wing. Your first case is the murder of a woman, found last night and bearing all the signs of the werewolf. Get out to the scene, lads. Hi guys and welcome back to LA Noir. And uh, well, if you remember in the last video, I did the last you case the of the traffic desk. It's been all over KGPL. This is now Stop six Campbell months later. Oh, come out of the way. Uh, this is now six months later. Campbell. In those six months, uh, apparently Cole Phelps went from traffic to burglary, and has then been promoted to homicide. So first case of the uh, the homicide desk. New partner. New department. I don't want to take the wheel. You're behind the wheel. Yeah, that's right. What happened to Rose? Parker wants the chief's job. Word is it's either going to be him or Thad Green. So they're both clearing the decks. So where does that leave you, Galloway? Leaves me saddled with a chump like you, Phelps. I didn't ask for you, and I don't want you, so keep it to yourself. See if you can learn something about seeing how a real cop operates. What did he mean by the werewolf? Medallion. The Daily News came out calling him the werewolf killer. The examiner came up with the black dahlia. Are we any closer to catching him? Not a chance. Six months and hundreds of guys running down leads, we got nothing. You don't think this has anything to do with it? No, I don't. 90% of murders are domestic, Phelps. Some guy gets into a beef with his wife, he takes it too far. This will be the same. But cutting someone in half and leaving them off the sidewalk, that's a one-off. Why so many women this year? Because of the war. You should know that. Guy gets to kill people every day in combat. Comes home, he's expected to take lip from his wife. What do you think's gonna happen? It's that simple. Like I said, most of the time it is. All right, so we're not with Bukowski anymore with Galloway, and he doesn't seem to like us. Another message. Is the werewolf back in business, boys? Do you have a mother, asshole? A sister? How about showing some respect for this poor woman? Let us do our job, and Detective Galloway will give you a statement later. He's good, Rusty. He even sounds genuine. That's Phelps, guys. The war hero. Defending the honor of murdered humps. You're used to it, Phelps. Moving along, guys. You got your pictures, you got your headlines. Now scram. Let's see what's cracking here. A bit gruesome in the uh, the opening cutscene. <laughs> this is quite gruesome as well and uh, fairly graphic. And uh, yeah, we're probably going to see more of that with it being the homicide desk, right? Let's Trauma, see what's what. Yes, sir. What part of it? 
kids park here. They use it like a lover's lane. It's a working neighborhood. Some trouble, but nothing like this. It's uh, known locally as the Moors. You were first on the scene? Yes, detective. No one's disturbed the body? No, sir. We cleared out them vulture reporters so Pinker and the coroner could work. They're waiting to talk to you. Go house to house and see what you come up with. Right, is there anything, any evidence knocking about? Let's have a quick look before I speak to the coroner. There's, there's something because there's music. Oh. What was that? Vibrated. Oh, there we go. What we got here? I don't think this is going to help us. No. What about that? Egyptian theatre. Doesn't tell me anything. Hmm. I'm assuming it's all within oh, all within the cordon. No, I don't think this is gonna be anything. Nothing significant. Nope. Alright, this is something though. Looks like some kind of something they've marked. The okay. Let's have a look. Hmm. Right, let's try and line that one up. Keep turning. Keep turning. Oh, on, where are we? Right, that's that one. Can I do the bottom one? No, I can't do the bottom one, so everything's got to line up with the bottom. And is that. Nope, keep going. Oh! No, keep going. Come on. Where are we? And there we go. The bomb ah. Why steal a table lighter? Okay. A bit of an odd thing to find, I must admit. So C, there's A and Where's B over there? Right, okay. Let's have a look at the brush first, and then we'll go through the purse. Nothing for the brush. The victim's bag? Let's see what's in here. Lipstick. Looks brand new. Can't be the one used on the body. Okay. Nothing else in there. And one more clue and then we'll talk to the coroner. And I would imagine I have to examine the body. There we go. What can Footprints. you tell me about the shoe prints? Men's size eights. Pinker lifted impressions for me to compare back at the lab. Is that it? Yep. No, there's still something. So we've still got music. Hmm. Oh, where could it be? <laughs> that was very athletic. Uh, let's have a look over here. No. Oh. What's that? Junk. Is it? Oh, okay. Nothing then. But there's still... Why is the music still going? Hmm. Is it this blood? Is 
Uh, let's, um, hmm. Why is the music still the going? Oh, there we go. Could be the head injury. Might be the body. She has been badly stalled. What caused the blunt force injury to the face? There we go. Could be anything from a baseball bat to a lug wrench. I'll have more details after the autopsy. Okay. Maybe it's not that. Maybe there is still something going on. Nothing with the hand. It's probably because of all the writing and stuff. We'll see uh, if the music's still there after I've done this. What about this wound on the finger? Oh, there we go. Something removed. A ring, most likely. I assume it was taken post-mortem. So there's a ring missing, and... Hmm. Yeah, that's it. Interesting. Nothing else? What's the writing on the victim mean? BD? Yeah, there we go. Like the Music's audio? gone. Tex? Your guess is as good as mine. Could be something to it, or could be the killers trying to throw you off the scent. Either way, I'll run tests on the lipstick. Any idea of the time of death? From the temperature, I'd say after midnight. I'll confirm with you later. If we get to the bomba, man could die of thirst in a case like this. Yeah, I guess we... Yeah, the music stopped. Yeah, I guess we're going to the bomba then. Go on, jump. Show us some of that athleticism. And uh, guess who's driving, Galloway? You are. That's right. I'm in charge. You're my bitch. You're driving. Oh. What? Why can't he? You know the way. You can drive. You bloody well can. Fine. Where are we headed? Sorry, for those of you that didn't see that, it just came up in the top corner. Your partner cannot drive at this moment. It's like, yes, he can. The werewolf? For my money, copycat. We can't rule it out. We need to work the evidence. <laughs> You'd love that, wouldn't you? A big head to hang on your wall. The caller of the decade. You've been working evidence in a BD case for six months and got next. There's a difference, Rusty. Oh, yeah? I just started working it today. Okay, hot shot. What's more likely? The werewolf comes back around, leaving us unknown in the corpse. He clearly has a thing for power. Power over women. Why not power over the police department as well? Let me finish, Phelps. A guy opens his mouth again after six months of school. For some opportunist who's been reading about the BD figures, he'll rip off the M.O. and get himself a freebie. That's not totally fantastical. You know, the examiner and the Daily News might be good at coming up with monikers, but they're terrible for police work. There's a reason we didn't get the son of a bitch after the short murder. It was them, locusts. Where do you think the werewolf killer is now? Uh, dead by his own hand, stationed somewhere else with the armed forces. San Quentin, another town, another country, who knows. So, Phelps, I understand you want to turn this into a big case, but it doesn't work like that, all right? A case will come and find you. You can't make it something it ain't, understand? So you don't think the werewolf has continued to operate in the Los Angeles area? No chance. Hmm, I wonder if it is going to be that guy or if it is going to be a copycat. We'll have to uh, wait and see, won't we? Gentlemen, what can I get you? Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. Were you working here last night? Yes. How can I help, officer? You can start with your name. Garrett Mason. You're the regular bartender on nights? I'm a temporary barman. I work for an agency. I fill in at bars across town. Do you remember a woman who came in here last night? Uh, five feet seven, about 110 pounds, blonde hair, about 40 years of age. You mean Celine Henry? Yes. No, no, do you do know we? anything about her? No, yeah, I we don't. do mean that. But the owner, Mr. McCall, serves her most nights. Would you like to speak to him? I would. He sits at the back of the club. Where's the hibiscus? You can't miss him. Is there anything else? Fire away, Phelps. I'll yeah, you just seem smarmy and I don't trust you. Pour me three fingers of rye. I think he's a bit of a gangueto. All right, so... But... Somebody wearing a, a hibiscus. And uh, I would imagine that would be you. Detective Phelps, LAPD. We're investigating the murder of Celine Henry. 
Do you know her? Celine? Are you going to pay for that? Christ. Sure I know her. She and I and Jacob, her husband, we go way back. She was here last night? Sure, she's a regular. Celine is... was a... lovely woman. Hmm. Was Mrs. Henry here with anyone last night? Not at first. Celine already had quite a head start. But she attracted attention? Certainly. A few gentlemen became very enamored with her and her stories. One guy in particular. Oh. Hmm. I'd say good you know guy, possibly. No. He's been in a couple of times. Did they leave together? Yes. At around 11. If it helps, I made the guy's license plate. Don't seem to be lying. Then again, we'll have to wait and see. I think this could be a great help, sir. Thank okay, you. gotta run that. Find a phone afterwards. Mrs. Henry appeared to be missing a ring, torn from her finger, but not her wedding finger. Celine always wore a red garnet ring. Good point. Ring she was married. Side. Wears a wedding ring. Larger than life, like Celine herself. Did she have it a long time? Sure. Since way back in her flying days. Did her husband buy it for her? No, it was, uh, it was before Jacob. No, he's holding something back. Give him some back I think off. you know where the ring came from, and I think you're going to tell me. Okay. I bought it years ago. I carried a torch for Selena in those days. Guess I always have. The old man never knew about it. Hmm. Interesting. You know the husband? Sure, I know Jacob. He was in the Corps. He met Selene on a furlough and married her when the war was finished. He put up with a load of shit. Do you think he killed his wife? No. No, not in my opinion. Hmm. I don't know. I don't I don't know if he's holding yeah, he looks like he might be holding something back there, possibly. And uh, Galloway was on about he thinks that this guy could be in the core. Or, you know, like killing people overseas like he said. So if it wasn't Jacob, mm. then you probably let her out of here with the guy who killed her. How do you feel about that? Stow the attitude, will ya? I tried to get on to Jacob. I rang him up. Asked him to come pick her up, like usual. But he refused. And she picked some night to push him over the edge. I rang him back around 11.30, but got no answer. Yeah, Thanks, back up was the right way to go on that one then. I thought he was one holding something else back. Do you have an address for Celine? 142 North Union Avenue. God knows I had to send her home in enough cabs to remember that. Right. So, we've now I got... I got back uh, to that Universal Chorus line. Where's my notebook? Right, so... We've got a husband to talk to. And we've got the Henry residence to go to, and I need to run that plate. You drove so me up to Mulholland and we did I something. need a phone. <laughs> phone, phone, phone. Let's get out of here. This way? Hey, what's the hurry? My there we go. Just starting to warm up nicely. Hello. Probably nothing. Okay, why did it come up then? Operator, Let's ring that give plate. Me R and I. Putting you through now. Phelps, one, two, four, seven. How can I help, Detective? I need a registered owner on a license plate, two boy eight eight nine nine. Yes, Detective. I'll need to contact the DMV. Shall I relay the details via KGPL? Please. Thanks. Okay, so while they're running that plate, uh, we'll go so, uh, check out the Henry residence.
Where's my car? There it is. Guess who's driving, drive this one? Not me. And where exactly are we going? Henry residence. You find the booze helps you get through a working day? Sharp as my investigatory instincts, Phelps. A smart lawyer might use that to throw out anything you collect today. A smart man might know it's unwise to stand between the patient and his medicine. As long as you're not falling over, Rusty, I'll let it slide. <laughs> That's mighty kind of you, Phelps. You know, you picked the wrong job with a healthy thirst to fend you, Cole. We owe it to this city to do the best we can in this position. As homicide detectives, that responsibility is all the more serious. Always the politician. It's not political, it's practical. Maybe the men combing Hollywood Boulevard after the Elizabeth Short murder were more interested in sniffing out booze than the clues that would have led to her killer. Yeah, well, if only you'd been there, choir boy. Betty Short would be alive, the Japs would have spared Pearl Harbor, our ancestors wouldn't have tasted the forbidden fruit. Minor syntactical error, Detective Galloway. I never claimed to be able to prevent crime. I only suggested a proficiency in solving them. Guess that's the drink slowing you down. Oh my god, brother, oh brother. It's worse than I could ever have imagined. Well, so Rusty likes a drink. And uh, I think depending on how long these cases are, because obviously the last traffic case was long. I mean, the, the video ended up over an hour long. So I think depending on how long these uh, these homicide cases are, depends on whether all these will end up getting split into two. I'll try the back door. Wait here a second. Oh, I've got a feeling we're going to have a runner. Well, it's looking a bit crappy, isn't it? What's going on? The place doesn't look as though it's in a particularly good state of repair. Side window's been jimmied. Looks like somebody's creeped the joint. Jimmied? It means smashed in. Oh, newspaper. Some more backstory. You said I had to go back, Doctor. The fires are cathartic. They allow you to confront your past. You said the house would be empty. Are you taking the medication I have prescribed? You said the house would be empty. I heard them screaming. The circumstances were unfortunate. My colleagues had made all the necessary arrangements. You said the house would be empty. You're killing me! The deaths were unfortunate. But you have dealt with death before. I want you to come to the clinic and we can deal you with You said the house would be empty! How can I find peace? That doctor's up to stuff again. Alright, let's see what we can find here. Ooh. A key? I doubt it. Okay. Nothing there. Try and do it methodically, room by room. Okay, uh, let's try this room. A shoe. Size nines. Above average for a lady. Yeah, that is big for a woman's shoe. Hmm. Okay, so that's that room done. And... Is that, no, it's a different room. That looks like the hallway. Let's try the, whatever this is. Yeah, everything's is messed up. Well. No, it isn't. Broken glass. No. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. 
Yep, there we go. That's the broken glass. Burglar used the pry bar. Why did you kick the door in? You think I'm going to climb through a broken window in a $30 suit? You got another thing coming, Buster. Nothing else to see there. No on the fridge. Uh, so Lena and Jacob are obviously okay. having problems. It speaks to motive. Crime scene evidence still weighs against right. him. Right. Jacob could give us something to go on. Okay, so I he's moved out. Like this, you'd be feeling the back of my hand. Nothing Call that way. burglary and get technical services out here. I'll talk to the neighbors. No. Nope. Don't take all day. Nothing about there. I get nasty when I'm thirsty. Okay, let's figure out where I've been and where I haven't been. Uh, Galloway, hallway. Homicide, badge number 564. Requesting technical services for suspected 459 at 142 North Union. Uh, so I've been in here, not been in here. Trying to figure out where I've been and where I haven't. Nothing in here? Surprising. Oh, yep, there is something. There we go. Flying goggles. This is anything. Oh, driving gog old fashioned driving goggles. Oh, it's like flying ones. Oh, one more to do, which looks to be that's nothing. So we've just got in here. Which is a bit of a mess. Uh, let's have a look. Nothing there. Other side. Oh. What was that? There we are. Not everything here is going to be relevant. No, I couldn't even figure out what that was. It's a hairdryer. Nothing more over it. Oh, over there, we just kicked something. There's something over here though. Nope. Hairbrush, nope. I don't think that's going to be anything, but the ring box, that could be something. Tiffany, the rest of the stuff is junk. Might explain the missing ring. Huh. Okay. And picture. I think that should be everything Regular there. Regular Amelia Earhart in her day. The ring looks distinctive. Yep. That's, so now we know what the ring looks like. Yeah, that's everything. Time to canvas the neighbours then. Nope, find my way out of the place, that is. Right, so. Who's that? Oh, that's. What? That'll be rusty, is it? No, oh, who's the blue dot there? Unless that's who I've got to speak, that's the neighbour I've got to speak to, I don't know. Yeah, I think it might be. Jump over the wall. Yeah, that's probably the one I've got to speak to. LAPD, are you acquainted with Celine Henry, Miss? Horgan! Jennifer Horgan. I've known Celine for more than ten years. Our children grew up together. What's going on, officer? Did you see Mrs. Henry go out last night? Well... I'm no busybody, you understand, but Celine had been drinking, and she and poor, long-suffering Jacob had a terrible row. I think Jacob may have given her a black eye. He stormed out, and she went back inside. Did he come back? No. Celine was listening to music and shouting until she left around 10 p.m. She was very drunk to have been driving, but she is not the sort of person you can stop from doing something when her dander is up. What is this about, officer? Is Celine all right? I'm afraid Mrs. Henry has been murdered, ma'am. Murdered? Oh, my God. I'm afraid I need to go and then sit down. Okay. Well, I think that's the neighbor's canvassed. Let's see what Jacob has to say for himself. I don't think Jacob is our man, but we should see what he has to say. 
Well, as Roger said, we need you to drive. see what he's got to say. I need to go over the case notes. Fine. And uh, off to headed? Henry's apartment. Or Jacob's apartment, should I say. A new real estate agent. Jacob Henry had a violent argument with his wife last night. It was looking more and more likely. Uh, for my money, the broad keeps the house looking like that, so you probably deserved it. The skipper says bring him in. We'll keep the hats off our backs for a while. Fine by me. So it ain't the werewolf killer after all. Good to see you come to your senses, Cole. I always said work the evidence. I only stipulated a connection to the BD killer as an avenue of investigation we should leave open. And as far as I'm concerned, it still is. Okay, Phelps, we go in hard. You follow my lead. Okay. Can't remember which apartment it is, so I'm glad I'm following your lead. Jacob Henry? Yeah. Who's asking? LAPD. You're under arrest for the murder of your wife, Celine Henry. Murder? Celine? Save the dramatics oh, oh for RKO, God. pal. You got bigger problems. What the hell are you talking about? You, you come in here, you, you tell me that Celine is... Take a seat, Mr. Henry. That she's... We're going to have a look around, I, then we'll talk. Jesus. I'm sorry. I, Hmm, I don't think he did it. I get even the slightest hint that you're a flight risk, pal. Seems irrelevant. Hmm, I don't know. I think his wife might have been an alky, and uh, he was trying to possibly understand it and help her. I don't think he's. I don't think he did it. You think it doesn't look like anything. Here? There we go. Okay. There we are. All right, let's get this filled in. Right there. The oldest problem there is, what to do about the old lady. Thanks for the offer needed to do something about my wife. Oh, okay, so maybe he did have something to do with it. Yeah, so uh, maybe it did, or again, maybe that was a note to the doctor that offered to help her. Oh, hang on, I got lost then. Anything? No, no, nope. It's still something. Ah, there we go. I didn't know I could go in there. Looks like he's packing to leave. Let's have a look what size his shoes are. Size Eleven's too 11. big. And there we go. That's all the clues. So there's a note to do something about his wife, but his shoes are too big. Let's have a chat. So who could have killed Celine? Where did she go last night, Jacob? A bar, I suppose. Look, I don't know. Hmm. I think you do know because, hang on, uh, let's have a look. All right, so... Hmm, he didn't speak to him, did he? I don't think he did. Or did he? Um, let's have a look. 
Hmm. Back I get up. the impression that Celine liked to live the nope, wrong one. life. Damn How it. did she end up with a hump like you, Jacob? Celine was one of the first woman pilots. She hung out with movie stars and royalty. But when she came back here broke and struggling, she married a mechanic. Put a roof over her head, food on the table. Not glamorous, but the best I could do. I'm not ashamed about that. Yeah, I got that wrong. When did you last see your wife, Mr. Henry? Last night. I went to see her. We talked. Things got a little out of hand. I left. Um, I might try the good cop. You don't remember what time you last saw your wife alive? Look, I think that might have been right. I'm sorry. I left. Maybe 9 p.m. Might have been a little later, but right around 9. Okay, that was the right one. Why did you kill her, Jacob? Things will go better if you come clean about it. That's a lousy thing to say. I never gave up on my wife. Hmm. I'm going to try I something. You, I'm going to try the accused. I think you didn't have the guts to do it yourself, so you had someone else do it. You want to back that up with I'm something? I'm going to try that note. Huh? And see what that comes with. Might explain it a bit more. Where are we? Uh, da, 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 da. Yep, there we go. That one. The note by the phone suggests yeah. you meant her harm. I think I got that right. You want the truth? Truth is, I was sick to death of her. I was trying to have her committed. Oh, okay. So you can prove that you came back so here after you left your wife's place. I came back here. I was here all night. Start work at 6.30. I'm not the going out type. Hmm. Again, I think he might be lying and I might have to accuse him because that guy said he tried ringing him all night. You called the bar to give him go with an that. alibi. Then you went after her, beat her, and dumped her in a park. I think you are a sack of shit, Jacob. You're not going to pin Celine's death mm. on me. I'll take a lie detector test to prove it. Probably the wrong thing, but let's go for it anyway. McCall says he called and called and you didn't pick up. I tried to get her help and she laughed in my face. Well, then, of course, she needs me. I'd had enough. Everyone has their limit. We're still going to need you to come downtown, Mr. Henry. We can get this all down on paper, Jacob. How you got fed up with your wife and how you feel. Ah, it was the right one. Bury all your troubles. Kill my own wife? She was a loss of the trap and you just couldn't stand it anymore. Shut your goddamn mouth. <laughs> so now you're going to tell me you loved her? Ah, the DA goes all gooey over remorse, Jacob. Okay. I can't remember how to fight. You're awful hot under the collar for an innocent man, Mr. Henry. What's this fucking? Oh my god, I can't remember how to fight. Nope, get my ass kicked. Ow. Stood up into that one. Oh my god, I can't remember how to fight. We're still going to need you to come downtown, Mr. Henry. Well, Phelps we just got his ass kicked. Paper, Let's just Jacob. cut back now into it if we can. No. You killing her would bury all your troubles. Kill my own wife? She was a loss of the trap and you just couldn't stand it anymore. Shut your goddamn mouth. <laughs> so now you're going to tell me you loved her? Ah, the DA goes all gooey over remorse, Jacob. 
You're awful hot under the collar for an innocent man, Mr. Henry. There we go. There we go. Didn't that was a bit better? Didn't get my ass kicked that time, but I'll leave, I'll leave the ass kicking in. And check for messages. I'll keep old Slugger here company. Yeah, I don't think he did it. Uh, I don't. Operator, give me dispatch. So I've just punched Help him a few times and I'm using his phone. How could I help, Detective? I need a patrol unit to transport a suspect back to Central. Certainly, Detective. You have a message from the coroner. Do you wish to be put through? Yes, ma'am. That's fine. I still need that it's license felt. plate, though. I've completed the autopsy. Several wounds to the head from a blunt metal instrument. Closest match would be a socket wrench handle. So the cause of death was the blunt? No, the blows to the head surprisingly were not fatal. Death was from hemorrhage and shock from the fractured ribs and multiple injuries caused by the stomping. Anything else? He's some kind of sex fiend. The tissues of the anus were bruised about one-eighth of an inch, but no trace of semen in the anus, vagina, or stomach. Thanks, Doctor. Operator, give me R and I. Any word on an owner for that vehicle? License was 2Boy8899? Yes, Detective. The plate belongs to a brown 1936 Pontiac. Registered no, I've got the plate number, and um, yeah, it sounds Alonzo like Mendes, that guy is pretty sick. South Fremont Street, apartment 16. Thanks. Any other messages? Mm. One, Detective. A new From suspect. Captain Donnelly. He wants any and all suspects returned to Central. Interviews to be set up immediately. Got it. We're coming in. Uh, yep. That'll be because uh, the papers will be on this one. Right. So where are we going? Do I go back to Central or do I go and check out that other guy? Let's you can drive. Look. And where exactly are we going? Um, let's go to Mendez's apartment. I'll try that out before we go back to Central. His brother said she took a real pounding. Maybe if he had been a little firmer in the beginning, he wouldn't be in this situation now. I imagine that Neanderthal routine is a big hit with the ladies' gallery. Women love me, Phelps. I have no complexity. They know exactly what they're going to get. So this guy's got to say for himself. Right, where's his apartment? Mendez, Mendez, Mendez. Mendez. Apartment, apartment 16. 16. I was looking at that. I picked the right side straight away. I'm not going to buzz him. I'm just going to go straight up and try and find it. Uh, let's have a look. That'll tell me on there. Oh, fourth floor. Great. And is there an elevator? Is there a lift? Nope, no lift. Up the stairs. Yep. Yeah. I need to look at it. Here. The apartment's up on the yeah. top floor. I've just said that. Right, up the stairs we go. Oh, Phelps, get those knees up. Right, and what's that? 14, 13, ah, 16. Don't bother knocking, just kick the door in. Okay. Take Fair enough. And see what you can find. Nice to know they don't let little things like procedure and warrants get in the way. 
kick the door, just kick the guy's door in and get in there. It's not snooping about. What was that? Incidental. Eggs. Yeah, because that's going to be a big clue. Hmm, he likes eggs. Now, I know there's probably nothing in it, but just... That. Yeah. I don't think You know, so. there might be something hidden in them. Nope. Doesn't seem to be anything in the living room, so let's try... Oh, what was that? Circumstantial. Yeah. Anything else? Nope. So that's a no-no. That door. Anything through here? Yep. Oh, hello. Optimistic call. Okay. Nothing then. Nope. Ah, here we go. Consistent with Celine's injuries. There we are. Typed. So we found the socket wrench, and what's that? Uh huh. Brothers could match the color and red lipstick. Looks like we might have our guy. We have the murder weapon. Better get Pinker down here. Why keep it? Why not throw it away? You think these clowns are geniuses? Thank your stars you caught a break. Mm. Captain Donald would begin to like you. Hey! What gives? LAPD, you're under arrest. Do not lose oh, that yeah, son of a bitch. I'll go get our wheels. Mendez, stop right there. You get back here. I can get my gun out. Not on him. No, he's gonna go down that ladder. You don't no need to chance. do this, Alonzo! Anything on that way. Come on! I need a, a decent stretch to get my gun on him. Oh, he's going for the car. Get in and drive. Where's he gone? That way, that way, that way. Where is he? Oh. Where is he? He's down here. Oh my god. This is why I don't drive. Nearly lost him. Can't see where. Yeah, lost him. Whoa, I'm really sucking on this murder case. God damn it, get after him, Cole. Now I can, because, you know, it didn't help that I didn't get in the car properly. And uh, then I forgot how to drive. Hit it! Clean this asshole off the road! Nope, that is not handbrake. Oh. Yeah, I really can't drive. Oh dear! No, 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 no. What happened then? Hit him, Cole. Spin him out. I just did, and I cannot drive. Come on, get that back wheel arch. And I'm trying to shoot out his tire. Wish me luck. Good shot. Oh, that looked like it hurt. Let's follow Jacob back to the station. Something about getting a jump makes me all itch to lock him up. You're under arrest for the murder of Celine Henry. Under arrest? He's going to be dead Show in a minute. Your hands. Goddamn thing.
You did a grand job, lads. Phelps, that's quite a way to acquit yourself in your first outing as a homicide investigator. It seems the city has a new and vengeful guardian. Considering the evidence against your suspect and the thoroughness with which a report was compiled, I foresee a safe passage through the courts, and the DA agrees with me. Brutality on a scale such as this deserves retribution. The people and the press of this city demand it. Hmm, I'm not sure. I just feel like I missed something by not going back to Central. Uh, when I had the chance. I got a four star out of it and that's the case closed, but I, I don't know. Maybe going to Mendez's apartment I did miss out on something by not going back to Central. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Anyway, not too bad. Four star, I'm happy with that. Uh, yeah, there you go. Uh, the first homicide desk case did mess it up a couple of times. Uh, hopefully the next few ones will go a bit better than that one did. Uh, but I hope you've enjoyed that one. I don't know if there's a cut scene after this one of those flashback ones or not, uh, so I'm really not too sure. Uh, but for now, I'll just say, well, I hope you're having a good weekend and um, take care of then. I'll catch you next time. See you later.